What is up guys? We are back with another video. And as you can see, this is a graphics card video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the RTX 3060. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, before we get into the two cards that I have right here, by default, the RTX 3060 will have 3,582 CUDA cores, 112 Tensor cores, 112 TMUs, 48 ROPs, and 28 RT cores. It will have that 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, which runs across a 192-bit bus, and by default, the GPU boost is 1,777 megahertz. Now to introduce our two graphics cards, the smaller card is EVGA's XC gaming card. This is gonna retail for $389.99. And then we have MSI's Gaming X Trio. This one is going to be $449.99. Now both of these cards have the exact same GPU boost or factory overclock of 1852 megahertz to start things off we have evga's xc gaming card and as you can see this is one really tiny graphics card which i actually really like um, because i'm a huge fan of small form factor builds and this is perfect for a small form factor build as far as length goes it's just under 202 millimeters again which makes it perfect for those builds another thing that's great about it is that it is strictly two slots. So, so many of these ITX cases will, you know, they'll support longer lengths, but they will only strictly support two slot cards. And so many aftermarket cards are like 2.5 or 2.7 slot. Here we go, strictly two slot, which I absolutely like. As far as cooling, we have a two fan cooling design, um, EVGA logos on the fan as well, or the middle of the fan, as well as the fan blades here. We have a thick um, fin stack here with multiple heat pipes. And then on the back, we have a full cover back plate. It says GeForce RTX on it, obviously. Kind of has this like honeycomb design, where at the ends here, the honeycomb is sort of cut out to allow some air to flow through the card. Another thing that you guys will really like about this card is that there is absolutely no RGB lighting. So none of these logos light up, nothing lights up. It is sort of like that all black card. They even painted the um, slot cover black. So no RGB lighting on this one. Now onto the big boy card, which is MSI's Gaming X Trio. We actually took a look at their 3080 Gaming X Trio and we can tell you it is one beast of a card. This is gonna be one of the biggest RTX 3060s that you're going to find. It features MSI's tri frozer cooling design, triple fan cooling design, really large heat sink stack, and they kind of changed it up a little bit from the 3080 where we saw two big heat sinks. Now we actually, if you guys can see, we actually have three in there, all connected by heat pipes. So really great cooling design. One of the most efficient cooling designs you're gonna see on graphics cards these days. Um, on the back here, we have a full cover back plate. Just like the 3080, it is not metal. It's called graphene, which is basically like a plastic that has certain properties that make it better for cooling. Um, we have the MSI Dragon logo and it does say GeForce RTX. Also, you can see that this is a uh, very thick card. So this is about 2.7 slots. So definitely keep that in mind. And it is very long as well. So keep that in mind too. Um, another thing is that this requires more power. So we have two eight pin PCI Express power connections instead of the single one that we saw on the EVGA card. You're also gonna get RGB lighting with this card, same as we saw on the 3080. So you have some accent lights here on the front and then the MSI logo will light up on the edge of the card. And then you have this very long RGB strip on the edge of the card that's gonna light up as well. Now that we've gone over all of the details on these cards, let's get them on the test bench and see what they can do.
All right, so at the end of the day, is an RTX 3060 for you? Is this gonna be a card that you're gonna be upgrading to? Well, one, if you have a 1060, for sure. Um, Nvidia says that these cards are about 10 times faster than a 1060. So you're gonna get that big boost in performance. Now, the thing that I did notice about these cards is you're not getting that incredible performance over the previous generation. It's not, you know, it's not like what we saw from, you know, a 2080 to a 3080 or even a, you know, 2070 to a 3070. We're not seeing that crazy increase in performance, mainly because these cards are based off of a different GPU than the 3060 Ti, which is the same GPU that's powering the 3070. So you're not gonna get that crazy increase in performance, but you are gonna get some more performance. Basically, when it comes to performance, these cards are right around the same performance as a 2070. Um, it kind of creeped up on our 2070 Super in a lot of our tests. So that is kind of the performance that you're gonna get for these cards. So in my opinion, these are basically the 1080p 60 frames a second card. Um, you can obviously do 1440p with these as well, but for those who are gaming on 1080p, this is gonna be that 1080p card. Another reason you might wanna pick up a 3060 is because you have second generation RT cores and third generation tensor cores. So what that means is that you're gonna get better ray tracing performance, also better DLSS, all of those other NVIDIA features that of course NVIDIA has been touting since the 30 series launch. You know, for gamers, you have NVIDIA Reflex, which, um, you know, really improves your, your input latency. And if you're a professional gamer playing, you know, like an esports title, you can definitely take advantage of that. If you're a content creator or a streamer, NVIDIA Broadcast is, is where it's at. We use it on our podcast every week. I have a dog. Sometimes she can be loud. Um, and you don't wanna hear that while you're in the middle of a live stream or a podcast. So you have all of that stuff baked into these cards. Of course, we can't forget the big story about these cards, which is that Nvidia has kind of gimped them when it comes to mining. While I am sort of a fan of this because this means these are gonna be more available, at least hopefully, um, I'm not a fan of any company limiting what I can do with their product. Um, it's there, it should be available to do with, you know, whatever I want with it, I should be able to do with these cards. It, they shouldn't put a limit on what I can do with these cards or what they're capable of. And that's just not a driver thing, it's actually baked into the cards itself. So I'm not a fan of that. I don't know what, how you guys feel about it, but that is something to definitely keep in mind if you're somebody who, you know, at night you, you turn on nice hash and you make some extra money or whatever it may be. Something to think about when it comes to these cards. Now, what card would I choose out of the two? I think both of these cards are really good. They both have the same overclock of 852, 1852 megahertz. And, you know, I think the EVGA card is great for that small form factor build. There's actually a ton of cases that only accept strictly two slot cards. And this is a strictly two slot card where this one I think is about 2.7 slot and it won't work in a lot of small form factor cases. This is just under, 202 millimeters long as well. So it is perfect for that super small form factor build. The MSI card, I absolutely love their Tri-Froze or cooling design. It's one of the best. Um, even if you're gaming 24 seven on this, you're not gonna hear the card. It's extremely silent. It's extremely effective as well, but this is a big boy card. It's gonna be one of the biggest RTX 3060s that you're gonna find. Um, but I absolutely, absolutely love the design. I love the RGB lighting on this one. EVGA card, no RGB lighting, but I think both cards are really, really great. So that is it for our video here on the RTX 3060. If you have any questions about the RTX 3060 or these two cards, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up. And if you enjoy our tech content, go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.